Hello and welcome to my channel where I talk about dolls and doll making. Today I wanted to share how my usual day at the studio looks like and that being a full-time artist requires a routine as any other job. So keep watching if you want to see what I do all day. I usually wake up around 7 a.m. but lay in bed for half an hour or so. I start my day with 8 a.m. breakfast because I want to be at the studio around 9. Over the years, I noticed that I get much more done if I stick to the usual working hours from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. But being self-employed still leaves me enough freedom to take time off whenever I want, even though I try not to take advantage of that. I prepare myself a filling meal, usually involving eggs, but today I run out and make myself a cup of green tea. I don't drink coffee in the mornings because I much more enjoy a cup of coffee in the afternoon. For breakfast, I give myself half an hour or sometimes more depending how eager I am to get to the studio. I rent my studio in downtown and thankfully I live nearby as well so I can quickly reach it by foot. After breakfast, I say a quick goodbye to my cat Diego, who loves to hang out in the balcony. And if my boyfriend is home to watch him, I leave Diego to enjoy fresh air and watch what's happening on the streets. To reach my studio from home takes around 15 minutes and the walk itself is gorgeous. I live near the river, so it's always enjoyable to see a bit of nature until I reach downtown. The buildings here are beautiful as well, so I feel very lucky to have this view every morning. At the studio, I prepare my workspace for the day because most days I leave it quite messy and turn on a news podcast. I like to know what is happening in the world when I'm spending most days here creating art. My first task is always to plan my day. I use modified bullet journal method and write a few most important tasks I need to do. So today on my plan is to pack and send postcards for my patrons, start making a new Etsy order, reply to an interview questions for the magazine, and start editing this video. I love to use bullet journal to plan my time and my goals as a doll artist. I even have an old video on this channel about how I plan my time. It really keeps me accountable and I tend to do most tasks I write down because they are realistic enough. My patrons are helping to grow my career as a doll artist so much, so to thank them I have a few tier lists to choose from. I film video tutorials every month and send postcards with a handwritten note as well. This month's postcard is featuring my new one-of-a-kind plush doll, Mr. Radish. They turn out so cute and I hope my patrons will love them as well. I pack every postcard with a thicker cardboard so it wouldn't get damaged in the post. I also include a handwritten note because this tier is called Pen Pals and I want to feel it that way. After I'm done packing, it's time to print out the shipping labels and go to the post office.
back at the studio and now it's time to start working on a new Etsy order. I made these faces yesterday, two of them are for the Etsy orders and others for Christmas dolls I'm preparing early. So I hope to paint a few of them before lunch. This face is for my mushroom plush doll. I have to paint two of these and with all the layers and drying times it takes about an hour to complete them. I will also paint a few faces for my Christmas angels, so I have plenty to do for more than an hour. To paint these faces, I use soft pastels ground to the dust. Every layer needs to be sealed with matte spray varnish to protect and build the color. This process is very meditative and I love painting these faces while listening to a podcast or my favorite music. Now I'm ready for lunch. I usually bring something from home and I love to read while resting for an hour or so. Around 2 p.m. I'm working again. Now I have to make these cute caps for my mushroom dolls. The sewing and embroidering is quite a lengthy process, but I love it a lot. It takes about two hours to finish these caps, but the end result is so worth it. Mushroom dolls are probably the most popular ones in my shop, so I repeat this task quite a lot. Here's the end result. Tomorrow I'll be able to finish these dolls and ship them out. I'm working on a new porcelain doll as well and using the darker porcelain that I absolutely loved. But I only ordered small amounts to test it out and some parts came out of the kiln a little deflated, so I need to order more porcelain today as well. It happens sometimes when new porcelain needs a little bit smaller temperature or thicker walls. So I need to run some more tests and figure this out. Only a few pieces are defective, so I hope to fix them soon so I could keep working on this beautiful doll. pm coffee break. Sometimes it happens sooner, around 2 pm, but I was quite busy today. Remember how I said that I don't drink coffee in the mornings? Now this cup will be even more delicious. By the way, I made this mug myself and now it's my favorite mug ever. I wonder if I could repeat it so I would have one at home as well. While I drink my coffee, I will answer interview questions for this international magazine that will come out around Christmas. This is definitely not a daily occurrence, but recently I'm feeling very grateful that these opportunities come up two or three times a year. These interviews help with exposure quite a lot, because it reaches people who don't see cow dolls usually or know a lot about them. Now I have about an hour till the end of the workday, so I decided to work a little bit more on my Christmas dolls. I will be doing a few Christmas fairs this year, so I need to stock up on Christmas items. Here you can see some angels and lavender filled elves that are the most popular around Christmas.
These dolls are already finished and my lovely assistant helped me a lot with them. But I still have some angels without the wings or other details that need to be attached, so I'm positive I can do a few more before 6 pm. And now it's time to go home, relax, cook some dinner and cuddle with my cat Diego. I hope you enjoyed spending a day with me, thank you so much for watching and see you next time!